asking for a friend. <laughs> um, how about uh, this uh, other story, which I, has caught my eye, and it's the Mail on Sunday. Intergenerational mortgages. Diane, what's going on? So families could be offered mortgages of 50 years, which they can then pass to their children. Uh, so the idea is, is that instead of kind of buying uh, a smaller house with a smaller mortgage that you can afford and you can pay off and then you own it, the idea is that you go, let us go for our dream house now, and you get this mortgage. Do you have to sing is, a singing part of it? I think it is. I'm pretty sure it's in the small print. Bursting into song, uh, dancing in the fountain. I mean, it's your dream home, right? So it has to happen as the sun is rising. It's all this... Like in a Disney movie or something. Oh, my like gosh, that. definitely. There's all these clauses. Um, and then once you've got your dream home, you just have a longer mortgage, so sort of 50 years long. Hmm. Now, the idea is that you sort of pay it off with small amounts and if you happen to die, your children inherit the dream home with the mortgage. Now, I can kind of see the theory here, but my parents' dream home is different to what my dream home is. And there's always a chance with the way that the prices are going that you could inherit a massive house with a massive mortgage which you can't pay. And brown carpet. Oh my God, can you imagine pistachio toilet? Yeah. Ugh. And you know what? What what carpet in the loo. I grew up ah! with I grew up with carpet oh. in the loo. Wow. And you can only imagine how much the horrors you've seen. Well, <laughs> just think of the human deposits oh, that have gathered no. on that. That was the seventies and eighties, carpet in the loo. I must admit wow. I did see somebody put on Instagram they had knitted a toilet seat cover. I was like, no, oh, that's oh, they used to be all the they're nice and warm, aren't they? Oh no. When um, was the last time you saw a carpeted bathroom? Yeah, we used to have them. That's yeah. not that weird. Yeah, but you lived in a hotel, Nick. Well, yeah, and I'm from the north. Things were different. <laughs> Can I just say one thing on this story? I saw a very interesting meme. Have you ever seen that meme with the guy in the boardroom and he's, he's shouting at his uh, lower people and they, he kicks one of them out of the window? Have you ever seen that meme? No. Oh, no. well, many will, the viewers will have. And it was, uh, it was Boris saying, we need to make housing affordable. One person said intergenerational mortgages. The next pe person said taxpayer subsidised mortgages. And the third person said control immigration. And he got kicked out the window. So I'm just saying it's just an interesting satire on the fact that what, what might actually help the housing problem, you know, rather than coming up with all these crazy ideas. Some people are saying it's just we've got too many people in the country. I'm not saying that, of course, but some people may but say you're that. entitled to take and, um, that view. Can I just say, the only problem with this is that, of course, the bank then owns your children as well. As Graham Taylor has pointed out, not the deceased England manager, but a mortgage broker for Hudson Rose, he says it seems like a good idea, but the problem is the loan might not be affordable for all. It needs to be affordable for the original applicants and the children who inherit it. So otherwise they risk inheriting a liability they're unable to manage. Yeah, too right. Uh, it sounds like a sticking plaster solution to me, but uh, I'm sure that that will be further debated in the weeks and months to come. Well, that's it for part one.